was gonna beat the line, but yeah. It's quite a bit of people here. That just must be cool. Good, I guess. So not have update. Okay. Still in line. They're not open yet. There's a line behind me. I'm starting to get hungry right now. It's open. Another thing you need to pray that my car is still over here. I had to go park. He's still there. I had to go park in the Willie's parking lot because there's absolutely no parking over here. We about to see what this is hitting for. I'm just getting restless. I was I just wanted my food so I can go. It was bugs out there. I feel like I was getting bit up. I was just really over the whole experience. That's why I got so much food because I don't know when I'm gonna go back. Maybe once they get more stable, maybe like when the demand dies down. Well, for them, I hope the demand doesn't die down, but maybe when they get, you know, the process going or when they open up a restaurant or whatever they decide to do. But I won't be standing in that line again. I don't care how good the food is. Okay, time to try the food. The Hollywood Hooker. The Hollywood cooker is their version of a uh, Philly cheesesteak. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's sloppy. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. A mess. Messy goodness. It's kind of small. Then of course everything comes with french fries. Probably should get a plate. Just your regular crinkle fries. Plate. This is the whole boy, which is their version of a New Orleans style whole boy. So it has vegan shrimp. So it's like fried vegan shrimp. Ooh, that looks really good. Sauce, lettuce, things of that nature. Look at those vegan shrimp. But I feel like the size is really small. Like this is $15. It's kind of small. This is like a half of a sandwich. Yeah, they can make this a little bit bigger. And this is the Fussy Hussy, which is a burger. It is big, it's really big. Look at that, look at how huge that is. The Fussy Hussy is just like a cheeseburger. It has lettuce, onions, pickles, mayo on a bun. Whoa. This thing is massive. Okay, all right. Hollywood hooker first. 
Let's see. Mm. Do I catch something spicy on there? Ooh, what's that sauce that's on there? That's a little spicy. It's good though. It's like a sweet heat. Like at first you like, ooh, what's that? And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, hit you a little bit. This is really good. I just wish it was bigger, yeah, for $13. It could be a little bigger. But it's so good. Next, I'm gonna try the whole boy. It got the secret sauce on it too. First, let me bite into this little shrimp. I wanna see what it tastes like. Wow, this is really good. It really mimics real shrimp. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. I feel like a fatty right now. Mm. Junk food is so good. Let's see what it tastes like all together. Oh wait. I didn't get any shrimp in that bite. Ooh, that sauce got a little kick. And I'm not a fan of spicy food. We need some water. Mm. Let me get some water. Water. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. It's good though, but yeah, I got a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. I am a slut right now. A slut for slutty vegan. I'm like really proud of them. Like, you know, for this to be a black owned business, black owned food truck, beacon at that, where they got lines down the street, people waiting for them, like the buzz is big, and the food is really good. Yes, the one downside is the wait is very, very long, but the food is really good. So they got a really good product. They need to have this in like a drive through. That would be so bomb if this was like a vegan drive through to get good food like this, but they can't be that slow. Mm. Non-vegan people would love this. They wouldn't even be able to tell, tell the difference. Like if I showed up with this, they would have no clue. Food so good, it makes me twerk. via word of mouth and that they use the impossible burger i only had it one time and i didn't really look at it but maybe that's what this is but mm. 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 so it has lettuce tomatoes their secret sauce and then grilled up. Hey, I said no pickles. Mm. You know, I'm not gonna trip for real, but I do not like my pickles on my sandwich. Get that off. Okay, so yeah, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles that I've opted to not have, but I still had, but I opted to not have. But it's so good. No, I know I see it. I wasn't gonna go back until they get more established. I think that's a lie. I may be going back next week. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know your food is good when you're making a mess. See, it's good. I'm not a huge fan of the Impossible Burger. It tastes too much like meat. Maybe because I haven't really, I haven't really eaten it in so long. This is like beef. 
and it almost grosses me out a little bit. With that being said, since I'm not a huge beef person, I probably wouldn't order this again, but I had to give it a try. I definitely had to see what the hype was about. You can't even eat this cute. Like, there's no way you can try to be cute eating this. So if you're on a date, y'all happen to go to the food truck, don't order this. Don't, don't. Unless you don't care. But if you're trying to eat cute, this is not the place. Also, I think this um, burger is a little overdone. It's a little crispy. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little crispy right there on the edges. You know, black folks, we like to overcook our food. Mmm! See? Can't be cute. See how that taste is too. Too spot on for me. But it's definitely good for a person that is transitioning. I mean, it's a taste of beef. Like, or a burger, or a real, like, authentic tasting burger, not like the Beyond Burger. This will definitely do it for them. I know you're not supposed to talk with your mouth full, but y'all be okay. I legit can't believe I ate all that. My stomach is so full. That was good. Definitely, <clears throat> the whole boy was my favorite, hands down. So if I ever go back, that's what I'm getting. So I got the whole boy, that was $15. The Fussy Hussy, which was the burger, that was $13. And then I got the Hollywood Hooker Philly, that one was $13.50. Um, and that one was all right. I don't need to order it again. But like I said, that whole boy and that sauce, even though it was a little spicy, have to get that. So yeah, like my bill came up to about $41, so $42 for those three meals. But it's worth it. Support black businesses. I'll definitely support them again. I talked all that shit about I ain't going back there in a while because I don't feel like waiting in that line. I'll be back next week. <laughs>